Saturday morning, we're just coming to the end of this house. We've got some professional photographers coming with the estate agents on Monday. So we're just getting everything tidied up and finished off so that everything's perfect. Let me just show you what sort of items need to be done and how this house has been finished. As we can see on the start here, uh, we've got some new Victorian tiles going on. We've taken this wall down and we're going to have a really nice uh, wood panel going from left to right, which just gives it that little bit of an architectural um, finish to it. On the outside here, we've got some uh, paving where they're going to be storing some bins against that wall. That wall's going to be rendered at the end. And then the finishing here has to be on point just to show that quality. And then we've got a nice slab on the entrance as well. Um, this square section here has been all finished off nicely. Um, once again, quality is really, really important. Let's take a look inside. As we go inside, we've got an amazing entrance here. This door has all been spray painted. We've got some really nice brass fittings on here. And then as we enter, we've got these pocket doors, which allow some space. And then that takes us into this amazing double reception room. Initially, what we have is this um, restored uh, original fireplace. We've got some wood sash windows. We've got a lovely radiator, lovely lighting. And look at this as a view. This is what sells, this is what gets you the money. Uh, really nice lighting up here, just gives it that shabby chic feel. And then if you look at those walls, we've got two tones of colour, and then we've got this really nice beading that creates a wood panel. Let's take a closer look at this fireplace. If you look at some of the detail on that fireplace there, it's um, so ornate and uh, lots of um, period features and character, a nice marble slab. The wood floors that we've chosen are an oak wood floor, uh, which are slightly wider in panels, and that, that gives it that feeling of quality again. Um, coming through, we've got a double reception room that then leads onto this kitchen. That's a bespoke kitchen there with oak internals, which I'm going to show you. And then all of this section here with the glass is on the roof. That used to be part of the garden. That's called a side return extension. This is where we create extra space in the house and that's how we create value. We've then got a two-tone kitchen. Can you see the chocolate island? A blue kitchen. And then let's, let me open one of these doors for you. There we go. So as I open this door, you can see we've got an oak internal. We've got Siemens appliances, so quality is key. We've got a nice range cooker, a Siemens oven hob integrated. And then we've got an integrated fridge freezer in here as well which is also Siemens as well. Um, it then leads on to this space here. Now what's interesting about this space is it can be, it was originally supposed to be a dining room um, or a dining table there that then looks over to the garden but as you come back here what we decided was on the right of the island we can get a nice six-seater dining table there and that, that creates an extra space which could be a small children's area there as well, which then overlooks this garden where we've got a mix of materials. So we've got some nice slabs which match the outside. We've got some AstroTurf grass there, a nice bench, which is a bespoke seating area. Can you see that where it's all been cladded with some nice wood there? And then we've got some planters on either side with these lovely um, greenery here. Um, if you look at this from the upside, that's the new loft there, which is from the front and the back. So we've created two new rooms up there. And uh, on the back side here, we've got this really nice architecturally inspired um, glass um, bifold doors um, on this side. And then we have got some openings on those two doors there as well. And then in the garden, we've got this uh, nice new wall and then we've got this trellis above which just gives it that extra privacy. Uh, and that's just the ground floor. Oh, this piece here, this is a window that's been cladded. Finished off nicely. Quality wise, everything is done to an amazing standard and that's what gets us the money. Let me just show you the finish on the floor here. Can you see that? And that just follows through. Look at the, look at the join on this wood floor here. Once again, quality always sells. So with spiraling uh, construction costs, um, we have to be um, 
extra delivery on the quality. Moving on upstairs, we've got these really nice runners. We've got these wood beading that creates that three-dimensional paneling going up. We've got a really nice light here. And then behind me, you can see we've got some coving and then we've named the house Juniper House, which is named after a tree as well. So this is um, what sets us apart or what sets you apart as developers. Coming upstairs on this level, we have two bedrooms. One is a guest room, which is here. We've got new windows. It feels so homely in here, so nice. Not easy to create this, so it's taken many, many years. And uh, quality is so important, guys. I can't, I can't really uh, tell you how important quality is. So if you look there, look at these windows wood sash windows you can go for PVC but the wood is better and then as we turn left here we have a really nice bathroom which is a family bathroom with some really nice gold fittings we spend extra on the quality of the tiles and then if you look at the quality here and look at the finish here that's where you can see the real quality moving on on to the next room we used to have two rooms here we've now combined it into one that wall becomes a feature wall you can have some nice paintings on these light which is another little touch there and then as we go into the master bar the master bedroom how's this for a master bedroom here look at the size of this that's a big master bedroom and then it also leads on to a wow walk-in wardrobe and then an ensuite as we go into the walk-in wardrobe you'll notice there's no lights here and it's on a sensor as soon as I come in if I want to go to the loo at night it comes on it's on a 30 second one minute time delay and uh, that gets the off and on made easy as well also again oak internals on the fitted wardrobes we've got our own joinery and that is something that's really important for you guys when it comes to flipping houses provide storage pocket doors once again in this bathroom can you see that so that slides that allows us to have more space in the bathroom and then we've finished it off with these really really nice tiles here which were selected from a company called mandarin stone we've just got to finish off some tiles underneath that window that bathroom that bath then gets fitted and then we're behind here we've got a double basin for his and hers for mummy and daddy and we've got a nice bespoke mirror being commissioned there with a nice gold edging as well just to match let me take you upstairs now upstairs is all value add this is where we've created value extra space this house used to be on two floors all of this space upstairs is new that's where the loft used to be and then upstairs what we have is we've created one double bedroom here which is a very very good size I'm really pleased with that and then once again provided uh, wardrobes for the children which is something that you don't get in most houses it's the it's what sets us apart what's going to get us a record price for this house and then this hallway we've got a really nice skylight detail there with a nice LED lighting around and now two bedrooms also need a bathroom so we've given the kids this shower room here beautiful tiles once again don't compromise on the quality really really important and then as we turn around we then get into the bigger bedroom here which goes from the front of the house there under we've got slightly angled ceilings there we've got some uh, storage underneath as well and then as we turn around We've got a really nice big double bedroom here. I'm going to show you from the other side. Once again, fitted wardrobes. The detail on these wardrobes is different to the Victorian. It's a little bit more minimalistic. Lovely handles. And this house has come together so nicely. Pick this house up for £650,000. We've spent circa... You let me know what you think we've spent. And I'll let you know uh, in the comments section. And... A resale on this one the agents came in they valued it at around 1.15 to 1.2 uh, based on my knowledge based on my experience i was confident that we could get 1.25 because there's nothing else on the market at this quality and this spec and this size so let's see what we get inshallah under the man of sharia homes blessings continue 
and I'll keep you posted on the sale. Take care, guys.